you have uh, attacking players like Rashford, Greenwood, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and even Bruno and even Pogba, right? You got a lot of attacking players. But against Liverpool, this attacking uh, movement uh, seems to be very lacking in terms of quality. Every time Rashford has the ball, he seems to be isolated compared to the others. That's what I feel as an uh, Arsenal fan, uh, as a football player as well, that like if you see Liverpool attack, you would have TAA coming in. There's at least three people nearby to create kind of a triangle, uh, which we always talk about, right? triangle, 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 right? Mm. But when Manchester United, with all their attacking players, right, it seems that every time Cristiano Ronaldo gets the ball, he moves forward, he seems isolated. Every time Rashford gets the ball, there's no one else around him to support him. Either they are slow coming up or there is no triangle to pass around uh, to break through Liverpool's defence. So is there a problem? Uh, maybe we start with just first. Is there a problem with Manchester United's attacking movement or tactical-wise? Is it the players? Uh, is it Ole or how? What do you think? To, to me, it boils down to one thing. Uh, is the This one, yeah, I'm not blaming players. It's the coaching. Because when they attack, right, it, it, it works in one linear way. The way they attack, they play wide, they expect the players to dribble in. But it may not work on a very organised team like those who are sitting deep and those who are like Liverpool who has an organised defence. So those teams that sit deep will have seven players in the penalty box. Uh, very difficult for you to, to cut in. Uh, or players uh, or teams like Liverpool who has a, a, a very organised back four. Uh, with the midfielders coming in to harass you and press you, it will be very difficult. So it's not because they are not effective. Rashford on a good day, that game itself, he actually got he actually got very good runs. He actually has very good runs. It's just that after that he got nobody else to support. So to me, uh, it's more to how they coach the attacking players and their tactics itself. So it may be down to tactics, but it may be because they are trying out. This, uh, this uh, United unit, they are trying out something against the Liverpool team, which is totally something that they have not played uh, or used to playing. So that's where they feel. Uh. Uh, Mel, what, what do you think in terms of attacking? No, I agree with Jess. I agree with Jess. It's really, I think personally, it's down to the coaching. The players, Man United, players, the attacking players, they are not lousy players. Mm -hmm. Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, Mason Greenwood, Cristiano Ronaldo, they are all world beaters. World-class players on any day. Pogba probably can walk into 18 out of 20 Premier League teams. You know what I mean? So, if I look at it, it's like when the game against Liverpool, they were just shambolic or I will just use the word, they were clueless when they were actually just one-dimensional, very one-dimensional when they play. So it's like, why plan B? I mean, these are the things that we always use to talk about when we question uh, teams that are going through a rough patch, that why there's no plan B and all these sort of things. Maybe it's like, it's probably, okay, I look at it, it's like, apart from coaching, it's just that, maybe like what James said earlier, if Bruno Fernandes had just put in that goal at the very start. It may have actually calmed the nerves down of the Man United players. Mm. But subsequently, when they missed that chance, subsequently, everything is just quicksand. Where one thing leads to another and just everything went wrong for them. Yeah. So, but if you ask me, I don't think it's the players. It's really, it's down to the coaching. Mm, okay, coaching, yes. I think that is really quite, it's something that, uh, that is how that, is probably leading to this whole man united fast. Based on coaching itself, I I I always can't can can pronounce that name. But he looks at Phil Neville, that guy, one of the coaches. Kerry, uh, is but it Kerry? he was no Kerry is Kerry, another guy. Feeling? Um it started with Ke- uh, Ke- He Feeling? he was rated, yeah, he was rated very highly when he joined. But when Kerry joined as a retired player. You join without any experience. I think the back room beside the um the Mike Fillon, right? I, I believe they can bring in a bit more experience. Like I think when when, when um the ex uh, who is that guy's name? 
the ex Portugal coach or Real Madrid coach, Carlos. Carlo Ancelotti. No, 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 no. Uh, when he was assisting United uh, under Fergie. Oh, Carlos Quiros. Carlos Quiros, is it? Oh, Carlos Quiros. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like, like uh, Steve McLean, these are the coach who who been through a very, I would say, colorful coaching um, career. And you, you need to bring a bit more experience because the back room itself now is very lightweight. I don't see really senior coach who who go into like for example, like uh, I take someone from Liverpool, um, someone from City, or someone like Brian Kidd, for example, was in uh, City uh, uh, as an assistant coach to Pat, right? They 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 have success because he knows the English uh, football. He was with I think we focus on, but one guy says get someone that is experienced to bring maybe. One uh maybe two to three more coaches who risk to, to help Ole mm. and also let him see what type of choice, what type of player that he can put into that system that he wants to play. With with the current coach itself, I don't see very heavy. If we say about coaching itself, I don't see the coaching right stuff right now is very heavyweight compared to the top. Uh, team itself. They are going to go against EPL games. Huh? Uh, they are going mm. to go against Spurs, which is a bit easier. Lah, huh? This Spurs team. And after that, Manchester City. But even if it's an easy Spurs team, uh, with the way Manchester United played uh, against uh, Liverpool, uh, they might struggle against Spurs uh, as well. Actually, so in these next two games, agree. yeah, is this, in these very next two agree. games, are you, are you confident in even getting a point? No. From Spurs and Manchester City. Well, no. Spurs, Spurs, yes. I, I think I, 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 I'm not very confident at the moment itself of how they, uh, how Ole uh, select the players itself. Against City. So I, you are saying I, that I you will get three they... points against Spurs. No. One point. Oh, a draw, no. uh, Probably a draw. Please draw. Draw, draw, draw. <laughs> is the... Hey, hello. Starting our season, I supported you. Now oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, same point, same, I, points. same points. Same points, same points. Very hard 2-1 win against Spurs. That is the wish that I won. Uh-huh. But if you ask me at the moment itself, the next three games, we just say the next three games. No, EPL. EPL. First, EPL. Mm. EPL. Uh, EPL. One draw and one loss. One draw and one loss. Okay. Sad to say, I don't see them picking up any points from the next two games. The next two PR games. Even with Sorry, Spurs. Uh, James. Uh, yeah. Even with Spurs. Yes, I still think... No uh, I think confidence is at an all-time low in the menu squad now. Okay? Which... Uh, and if Oli had been replaced at this week, then I think a new manager coming in, it sort of spruces up the mood within the dressing mm. room. Mm. But uh, when so, you are continuing with the same thing, I mean, put it this way: if let's say now today you are Pogba, okay, you are Bruno, okay, I mean, we have all worked under bosses before, right? Mm. All of us have worked under people before. Some bosses, when you look at them, the way they speak and the way they conduct themselves, you will tell yourself that yes, this guy knows his stuff. He's definitely a person that I want to follow and I want to listen to. But there are some bosses when they come in and they're First, after one or two days at work, you look at him and say, does this guy even know what is he talking about? You know, I get a hunch that Oli Gunnar Social, this is the, the image that is being portrayed now currently to the rest of the menu squad. I mean, there are rumours now that, like I, I was talking, discussing with you guys uh, before James joined us, that Ronaldo has to step up to get gain control of the dressing room. Ferguson had to visit Carrington and all the sort of things. I think all these things actually undermines Oli Gunnar Social even a lot mm. worse so by Fergie coming down, I think it made the picture even worse than what it was. Because it's like, what are you trying to tell the, the, the world? That he can't handle you guys. So I, as the grandfather, the grandfather of all coaches, I have to come down to at least stand my authority. It's, I think that is bad. So confidence, I think that is the Because in football, everything is about confidence. A lot is about confidence. When you are... 
when a team is not technically gifted as the opponent, but they are riding high in confidence, it actually does a lot of wonders to the way that they play and everything. You know what I mean? When they are riding on good results, but you know that this team on paper, they are nowhere near. Yeah. On paper, I mean, let's be honest, between Spurs and Man U, I would definitely say the Man U team has a much more gifted team versus the Spurs team. All right. I mean, Spurs are probably not in the best of forms themselves. They just lost, sir. They just lost. Yeah, themselves. but they did get a hiding. You know, the worst part is that when the, it's the performances that is very worrying. The Spurs performance, yes, you may say that the goal that they considered against uh, West Ham was comical or whatsoever, but they didn't get a hiding from your from the opponents. The way that Man U has played in their last three games, starting from the Leicester game to the Atalanta game, which they mm-hmm. caught away with it, and then finally to Liverpool. I think these are the things that it really undermines the players. It makes people actually question themselves whether am I really that good. As much as uh, as a Liverpool fan, I if I want to be as blunt as, as it is, uh, I think unless Ole is out, right? Uh, I yes. don't think so that is a change for United. They may just go down a bit further. Because yeah. right now, confidence is too low. Um, the players don't know what they're doing. The coaches don't know what they're doing. Uh, they're, right now, the system that they have is not being drilled. He has had three seasons, but until now, you don't see a proper system uh, that the players are playing. So it's just clueless decision after clueless decision, which even as a football fan, or as a neutral, you don't know what's happening. I mean, you question, why this, why that? There's so many questions in the Manchester United team at the moment, right? That I don't think so uh, they can they can uh, gather anything else to fight against Spurs, much less City. So at the moment, right, if you're asking me, too many things are piled up against them. I think most to most they will get a draw against Spurs. But Definitely, City may give them another hammering. That is if Ole is still there. Like it or not, uh, they may the players may actually want to use this to put to knit, to put the final nail into Ole's coffin. For all you yeah. know that. I think right there is one more lacking thing, in which was brought up by Graham Sunes. I think uh, which I think reiterates. Okay. I want to reiterate this: they don't have a leader on the pitch, right? If your manager is giving you something, games when they say this on the pitch, if let's say your manager is giving you an order and the game is turning against this, uh, give you a, a, a like a tactic and it's turning against this, you can take charge on the pitch and say, guys, let's play like this, let's defend, let's do this. But yes, Maguire is not leader. CR7 is just isolated and he's not doing anything. He's not pressing. He's not starting. And there's no player who starts to say, I'm going to be the game changer and start yes. to do and take example. There is no leader on the pitch. At the moment, yeah. all the superstars are not leaders for Manchester United. So that's another big problem that they have other than the coaches, which in turn points to them most likely just going down further. I thought this week had Champions League. But this week was oh. the League mm. Cup. Carabao yeah. Cup. Yeah. That, yeah, that is when I realized Ole really made a mistake of not putting the, the best, best team. That's, that, that's the add-on. Second, to, to, to let you know, Mel, the, I mean, rumors or, or somewhere, you know, you know, like sources saying that they have contacted Conte. But somewhere around the, the, the things that Conte won, and what, I, what maybe Ferguson is, I think, part of the board in some way. The, the view, the, the structure of what Conte won and go forward is not what the board won. That's why Ole had the three games in charge. But to be very honest itself, he's already near and almost buried. To be very honest, a I have, he's a dead man uh, I, Yeah, I, I've never, never, I never said this. You can ask Jess, I have been very supportive. I have been very, very... I, I'm still an Ole guy. But the thing is, getting another manager in, if it will be good, if I want you not to win the title. Even for one year, I, I, I really want to, you know, the badge, all those stuff. But 
But winning one one year and not winning the next year, is that the one the thing that we want? But now the thing is, Ole is already gone. But it's some but because of things are not being properly um settled. That's why there is no manager. I, I'm telling you, the game against Liverpool was so structured as what a lot of fans say. If Ole don't win against Liverpool, it will be like a Marino uh, scenario itself. I'm telling you, when the first goal go in, the second goal, third goal, I'm telling you, Ole is gone. I'm, I'm, in I'm your head, very uh, Ole. Okay, la, so you're saying head, that I'm, probably there was an agreement cannot be reached with his uh, yes. targeted replacements. La. His so-called yeah, targeted right, replacements, right. which yeah. uh, the rumoured one was Antonio Conte. La. Ole is just buying games at at current current situation, he's living on borrowed time already, lah. Let's say the next three game, I I I, I like I, the best scenario, lah. Okay, I draw mm-hmm. this first, I win Atalanta, I lose, or I win, I win, I lose. What's next? You again lose to a, a, a rival itself. It doesn't make sense. But if you want to change. I would say that maybe during that week of the Champions League, there might be changes. Don't win until City game. No right. point, you're dropping points. I agree with that. You are going, you are, you are going down. Mm. But the thing yeah, is, true, true. who? As as possible. who? You see, yeah. everyone say one, yeah. one, one, Conte, one this, one that. But I want a manager that, like, to be honest, like Klopp, like Pat, know how to manage, know how to bring forward. But at the moment, Conte is like maybe like a Moreno one year man and, and go off. I, I really I, don't want that to happen. I have to say something. Uh. Actually, uh, this is a point that I want to add. The, when you're saying you don't want a manager, when you don't want Conte, you don't want something like Mourinho, you must understand one, one thing or two things. First thing is, which manager wants to join United at the moment? When they are down, yeah, but that's number one. But the, number, the oh, wait, is, I, wait, let me continue. Let me continue. Mm. Number number two, number two is that, uh, you want Klopp and you want Pep, but even Klopp and Pep, even the the uh, owners of the new Newcastle, they have ten years. They themselves say ten years we will win the league. There is a time frame. There is a certain time you cannot say we take over and expect them to win the league in the next one two years. Nobody's like that. Only Chelsea do that. <laughs> no other teams will do that. So even the next coach coming, it is a project. It has to be a project of a certain time frame where you cannot expect one, two season they will win. No. A uh, manager comes in, why the discussion needs to take some time is because, okay, first two years, three years, what's the projected uh, status? Who do I want to buy? Who do I want to, want to play? And then after that, where do we stand? After that, when are we going to win? Like that, that's the idea. You you cannot think, okay, this manager uh, is defensive, I don't want, but if it's good for the future of United, why not? If let's say Conde came in, win the Champions League, I, I, I think the league is a bit out of my our oh, reach at the moment. <laughs> for you straight away, I, 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 no, 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 no. I mean, I know what I'm trying to say, no, no, I mean, I, I'm not saying anything. Uh, FA Cup, Champions League, I know, I, I mean, I'm being very realistic. Champions League is a it's a knockout stage. Anything can happen. A league itself is a league itself. What I'm trying to say is, if, let's say, Conte came in, he has that view. But look at his track record. But if you ask me, bring back another old boy. Steve Bruce. Wow. Bring back Lolan Blanc. Wow. Steve Bruce. Steve Bruce. Brucey. Brucey Cabbage. Why, 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 uh, why, not, why not contact uh, Lolan Blanc? He was okay with PSG, right? He won a couple of titles. I mean, there's a yes, lot of yes. candidates. Uh, okay, but I, I don't know. I, I, yeah. I, 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 what I'm trying to say is, a I don't have that trust. I don't have sorry. <laughs> no, I, mean, I don't have. I don't have that trust in Conte. Name me oh, other. So any, anyone but anyone yeah. but Conte lah. Anyone but Conte, but Conte lah. I, hmm. I don't have. Yeah, yeah, I don't have that trust. What I'm saying that if you want to bring back, bring back someone that won title before, big title like in France, in 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 in, in La Liga. Yeah, Conte has won things before, Liga. so what? Yeah. yeah, but how, how many, many season? No, I think I think Conte James doesn't. Before. He has won does, I think James doesn't like Conte style. 
So, so that's, it's that's basically it, right? because so it's he's, not about the results, right? Because he's it's he's like, a more defensive oriented coach. Mm, mm. Because no, I mean, no. he's primarily I, he's Italian, ah. Yeah. No, 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 no. In, 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 if you ask me to choose, I, I as I mentioned earlier, I openly uh want more uh Moreno to be back. I'd rather to have Moreno mm. rather than Conte. They are both the same, but I rather have Moreno than Conte. It is just the way. <laughs> yeah, like you don't like you don't like Conte yeah. style, lah. Okay, like you just don't like Conte, lah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Like Conte. Okay, I just yeah, just uh like sharing my experience from uh, uh last time when the first five games we were in a relegation zone, ah, for Arsenal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Uh, very good inside. Very good inside. <laughs> so I think uh what what Ole since Ole still has his job, right? So let's not talk about new managers, right? Ole has at least mm. three games before mm. maybe something happens, right? So yes. what he should do is that he really needs to look at himself and the coaching team to say, okay, what are we doing wrong? You know, he needs to set aside his ego and say, do we really need to play Van der Beek? Do I really need to talk to Pogba? How do I handle Pogba's ego? How do I handle Pogba's big personality and say, look, we need to get behind the team because now is the club is in trouble. Right, you, everybody have to set aside the ego and just say, okay, look, what what needs to be done? If I need to sideline you, this is why I need to sideline you. So only needs to look at all his mistakes and really be open about it and say, this is what I went wrong. It kind of start with a clean slate and say, okay, Sancho, this is what you have to do. Greenwood, you, this is what you have to do. Cristiano Ronaldo, I don't care whether you're a big uh, star or not. Mm-hmm. This is what we are going to do. What do you think? Let's have this open discussion and really revamp the whole mindset of the coaching right now that Ole is doing. At, at the end of the day, right, these players are 20 years old uh, players, you know, and they have they they are playing with heart as well. So at the root of it, right, you have to handle the heart of it first, which I think yeah, a lot of people agree. are not happy. A yeah. lot of people, uh, players yeah. are not happy. Right, so you have to just be you honest and say, okay, look, nice I have to. Be, uh, you have yeah. to stop being the nice guy and just be honest yeah. and say, look, let's what what do we have to do? This is what we are going to do, and all that. You know, you have to reflect this down all the things that uh, you need to rectify. That's what I feel uh, because that's what Arteta did. But the the difference between Arsenal and Manchester United is that Arteta had a transfer window, where he had a plan to replace some toxic players, mm. and and so, uh, fortunately or unfortunately. Granit Zaka got injured lah. So, that one also yeah. good. Uh, so He's fortunate. For, for he may be fortunate. Fans. Yeah, because, because during the transfer... For three games, Eddie. Uh, yeah, straight so... Straight straight straight. Okay, yeah. So, so maybe fortunate. that is a uh, good play thing, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a good thing. But he has to be honest. Like, uh, uh, what? Uh, Arteta, that's what he did. He replaced and just put in. Who cares? Uh, people say Ben White. Who cares? People say yeah, Ramsdale is, is, is a goalkeeper for yes. a relegated true. team. Right? I'm yeah, just going to replace way. Leno. I'm going to play Ramsdale. Uh, five or six of my signings, I'm just going to put in. Who is Tomiyasu when they first signed Tomiyasu? Right? Who is yeah, this man. guy? Who is this guy? so big. The yeah. picture, right? This is so big. But yeah, come on. For me, as an Arsenal fan, going through that first five games with Arsenal relegation zone, uh, I think uh, Ole has to be honest and just say, you know, lay everything on the table. Uh. 